Hey guys, Ningame Ten Master Doe here, and welcome to Let's Somewhat Play Spiral Knights. Actually, I'm not sure what the title's gonna be, but I'll figure it out sooner or later. Okay, so I mean, okay. First off, I just love this game. Okay, I've already posted a video on it, and I play it from time to time, day to day, night to night, sometimes, and um, I like it a lot. Unfortunately, I don't have any real life. I don't have any friends that I know in my day-to-day -day life that play this game, but I do have a few friends online that play this game, so maybe I can set something up with them. But basically, yeah, I'm going to be playing Spiral Knights for a few videos. Why? Because, like I said, I love this game, and this game probably loves me, I hope. So, um, one thing that I want to say is I hope you guys, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the mic quality because I'm trying something a little bit I'm I'm experimenting with my microphone so I hope you guys can hear me okay but uh, yeah let's get started I think I have enough energy for something okay let's just go to the cat like like I there's a lot of videos and um, gameplay videos of this game on YouTube but most of the time it's just uh, tutorial and not really anything else so I just kinda wanted to make a series of uh, videos where I'll be going through each and every single level of the game because there's barely any videos with good commentary that do that so let's get started I'm going into the party lobby right now this is a live commentary which I don't do it all that often <laughs> so expect me to be a bit meh on the commentary side. Like I said, I hope you can hear me, but uh, we'll ju I'll just see how it goes. Loading, 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 loading. Okay, it appears that I joined... Oh, I accidentally joined the party. Whatever, it'll make the game more interesting. Let's do this. I'm actually pretty high leveled for this part of the game, but I like playing at Tier 1. Tier 1 is really a lot of fun. But yes, so for those of you who haven't played Spiral Knights, Spiral Knights is kind of a dungeon crawler that um, you play with other players. You can play with your friends or you can play with totally random people that you don't know, which I'm doing right now. So um, there's three types, there's about like, there's 120 levels in the game separated into... 30 floors, or 4 sets of 30 floors each, just just about, and so yeah, there's a lot of levels in the game, but um, it's a dungeon crawler, so you start at level 1, and then you go down level to level 2, level 3, level 4, all the way down to level 30, or level 29, or where, where, whatever it's called, so um, it, it's very Zelda, Legend of Zelda-esque, so... There's a lot of sword slashing and pot puzzles. Yes, you'll be throwing pots around if you don't have your own gun. Yes, there are guns are in there are guns in this game. I'm just gonna jump into it right now. This is level one, so I'm extremely overpowered for this part of the game. It's just a one-hit kill for me. But uh we'll see where it go where I go with this let's play, because you know I mean, I'm not sure if people watch it or not, if people will enjoy it or not. It's just that I am very disappointed to see that people do Let's Plays of this game, but they only play the first four levels in the tutorial, and they don't show the rest of the game, and the rest of the game is quite fun, actually. I find it to be very enjoyable. They hit the switch, move on. I'm not sure what my teammates are doing. I think they're lower level than me. Let me see. Yes, they are very lower level than I am, so I'm... But this is just kind of a gameplay aspect, I'm not actually... Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. If I can get a friend or so to play, then definitely patch him in so we can have a dual commentary or something. But really, none of my friends like this game that much, only I do. I don't know why, maybe it's just that it wasn't their kind of thing. Maybe they like shooters better or something. One second. 
I'm just asking him to kick the AFK guy because there's a guy that's stuck at the dungeon entrance. So basics to this game. You can swing your sword. Uh, you can shoot a gun if you have a gun equipped. You can have two weapons equipped when you start out. Later on you can buy items that allow you to carry more weapons with you so then you can have bombs and more guns and more swords and yeah. But you have to like pay real money to do that so uh, blah blah blah. That's an NCP. Yeah whatever. Okay let's move on. I'm running this game on very very low settings so it's not the best quality especially since <laughs> fraps I set fraps to a lower resolution setting so the quality may be or maybe not there you might not be able to read the text but I'll read it out to you if you have any problems with that kind of system just tell me in the comments below and then I can figure something out I should give this to someone else so, when you're exploring the dungeons of the Clockworks, as it's called, the levels in Spiral Knights are called the Clockworks. As you explore the Clockworks, every time you kill an enemy, you gain money and you gain heat. Heat is the basic equivalent of experience in this game, except you don't level up your character, you level up your items. So every time you get a new weapon or get new armor, you have to level up, level it up from scratch. The level cap in this game is level 10, after that, your stats for that weapon max out. These green boxes you see, they're goodies, so if you just open them, then you get money and heat for your weapons and armor. Actually, they're completely optional, This that was an optional route. Uh, optional routes, uh, well, they're optional, but you don't have to take them. But most of the time they have some goodies that are worth your while, unless you take too much damage. In that case, it may not be worth your while, but... Yeah, so, extra goodies. We're just trying to find the exit at this point. It's probably this way. This game may not have the best looking graphics, but its art design is pretty dang good. It's a very, very pretty game in terms of the art and the models. So, I'm kind of in the mid-game in terms of progress right now. To get to the end game, I need to have better armor and weapons. But I don't have it. I have tier 2 armor and 